Hey everyone, this is Cass from Cass of the Divine Feminine, and I am going to do a um, collective weekend uh, forecast to see what y'all got coming up this weekend. Um, I'm a little irritated right now, but it's gonna be okay. Cause the people that is like, everybody, apparently everybody is being attacked right now. Um, the more, it's just, well, listen, everybody's being attacked right now spiritually. Whether it be outside forces or people that you know, people who you no longer fuck with. I got people I no longer fuck with that's been doing shit spiritually to me for a long time now. And all I'm going to say is I hope y'all know what y'all was doing because um, the shit that spirit is sending your way. I, I would not want to, well, I, I wouldn't want to be anybody else but me either, either way, no matter what. But I definitely would not want to be either one of you. And you know who you are. It's a, it's a male earth sign and a female water sign. Y'all know who the fuck y'all are, and I know y'all are watching this. So, yeah, like, um, I definitely increased my protection. And as the result of my increased protection, y'all better run. Because <laughs> it is what it is, okay? Like, um... You can't do that type of shit to people who, who really have never done anything to you. I've never done anything foul to either one of y'all, ever. And y'all know that. So, um, yeah. Y'all are in, look, see? Hide their hand. That's what y'all do. That's exactly what they're doing. Like, they're doing shit and hiding their hand. And they're stalking the fuck out of me. Okay. But anyway, let's get to the collective. Um... Let's see, um, damn it, now I feel like I need to sage. Hold on, let me grab my sage. Okay, hold on, let me just get this together. I don't want to make this, well, I, it's okay. Um, I do have to finish my, uh, the weekly love readings that I was doing. I already did, um, fire and air. I put the earth and the water sign on hold. For a couple of days, specifically because of what I'm going through with a, a water and a air, a water and earth sign. But um, yeah, those will be up soon. I might go ahead and finish those today. I don't know. We'll see. I feel really dehydrated, so I'm waiting. I got my water in the freezer. I got a big ass jug of water, one of them like two gallon jugs of water, because like I feel so dehydrated. Hold on, let me get this sage going with a good burn because yeah i got my work going on over there i'm putting up heavy 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 protection i got one of the uh another reader on youtube helping me with some shit so yes i'm trying to keep my energy protected mm -mm. nope 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 Y'all ain't tapping into my shit, especially without my permission. You can't do that. Okay. So, spirit, angels, um, ascended masters. Can y'all give me the uh, general energy for, um, for the collective of what's coming up this weekend for them? Ooh, a rising star and glow up. So, this weekend... Sounds like y'all are going to have some good... Y'all might be networking this weekend. Uh, the phone works both ways. So definitely, if you if you make any connections, make sure you don't just wait for people to call you back. Um, yeah, don't wait for... The phone works both ways. I know when I was... Uh, a karmic female came out. I know, like, when I was a teenager and I first started doing my... Uh, started applying for jobs and stuff... My mom taught me years ago, okay, uh, when you apply for a job, wait two days and then call them back. Call and speak to the hiring manager for whatever di that's directly involved with whatever the position you're, you're applying for. Contact them two days after you apply. Say, I would like to speak to the hiring manager. Reach out. That way they know, okay, you're not waiting for them to hit you up. You must really want a job if you're not waiting for them. You're taking the initiative. So definitely take the initiative and in whatever connections you make this weekend. 
Um, I saw backstabber. That must be this karmic female. Spirit, please block whatever energies that I have right now uh, with me so that I can give a clear reading for the collective. Baby dad. Okay. Let me switch decks. What else, spirit? Give me the energy that's going to be happening for the collective for uh, the weekend of July 9th. Ooh, that was a lot. Uh... Okay, can we talk? So a player wants to talk to you. Uh, this is somebody that's single, somebody from your past. Stop being hard-headed. We got stop and hard-headed. Stop being hard-headed. Fuck bitches, get money. So don't even, um, and shut the fuck up. Like, yeah, certain things. Ground yourself. Okay, let me get some tarot going. But it looks like y'all definitely have some opportunities coming up for you this weekend, which is great. I plan on doing some networking this week. I'm getting out the house this weekend. My dad's birthday is tomorrow. He wants my kids. So he tomorrow he's going to get my kids and keep them until Monday. I'm going out for my dad's birthday, y'all. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yes. I'm going to go uh, spend some time with him tomorrow and then like tomorrow night. Me and my homie, Jabari. What up, Jabari? Me and my homeboy. That's my homie, y'all. Like, I met him years ago. Uh, he's a photographer. I'm a photographer. We met on some photography shit. Uh, we started a couple years ago when we met. We started, uh, like, we would go meet up at a bar. And this is, like, really just a homeboy. You know, we're, we're, he's, he, I consider him one of my best friends. Uh, we would go out to the bar and then, um, get drunk. I would have a bottle in the back seat. We'd go to the bar, get drunk. And then when we would leave the bar, we'd be like, okay, what you want to do? Uh, come on, my nigga, let's make that money back that we just spent. So we would go, uh, drunkly deliver DoorDash. I don't work for DoorDash no more, so I don't give a fuck telling this story, but yeah, me and him used to go to the bar. And then afterwards we used to, um, go deliver DoorDash drunk just to have something to do. Didn't really need to make the money back. Just Let's just do some shit. Like, I ain't ready to go home yet. Fuck it. Because I really don't go out. It's, like, really rare that I go out. So when I first met him, we went out a lot. Like, within that first couple months. We, well, not a lot, a lot. Uh, We went out a few times. Oh, so we got the uh, three of cups and the two of cups in the reverse. We have the uh, nine of pentacles. Somebody single and living all up in their glory. Looking good. Somebody's burdened. This King of Wands is burdened. This King of Wands is looking at this um, Nine of Pentacles. So we got the lovers in the three, three of club, cups in reverse. You are not celebrating this love, my nigga. Somebody's still fighting for this, but somebody ain't having it. What about this rising star uh, that came up? Um, the glow up. Maybe that's why that... Maybe that's the uh, Nine of Pentacles. You're on your glow up. Justice. The uh, Six of Cups. And Seven of Cups. So this went from like a mutual loving nostalgia. It went from, from that to confusion and options and a whole lot of fuck shit. But it looks like justice will be served. This is the same story everybody like... If y'all been watching tarot readings, everybody is pretty much giving out the same story. So this might not be a long read. Yeah, we got the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot. Somebody has is moving on to good fortune, completed a cycle. Someone's moving towards wish fulfillment. We got the Nine of Cups here. I don't know if you're somebody's wish fulfillment or you're dropping the dead weight and moving on. Yeah, you're moving. Yep. Yeah. Eight of Cups. You're dropping the dead weight and moving on to uh, a new... You're, you're moving on to your wish fulfillment. You're, you're, whatever this is, you said, fuck it. We got the death at the end, this rebirth. I see an emperor and a queen of pentacles. But this queen of pentacles might be um, creating her own blockages. What else, spirit? The hierophant. 
This is spiritual counsel. Somebody's spirits are putting in work. Okay, somebody's getting a lot of rest. The Ace of Cups at the bottom. The Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. So somebody... That landed on the Eight of Cups. Whatever you're walking away from is trying... Like, This King of Wands, see, we got the Queen of Wands right here. This King of Wands, yeah, it's a tower between a King of Wands and a Queen of Wands. And I think this King of Wands is trying to block your money. They might, like, I don't know, maybe it's, if it's a married couple, m might try and fight you for the money that y'all both, you know, jointly earn or own or whatever. Somebody is blocking somebody's money. It's this King of Wands blocking this, uh somebody's money somebody's trying to okay so this king of cups or this king of wands mm -mm. he's moving in slowly with an offer I feel okay if the ace of wands comes out we already know what it is The fool. You want equal give and take. Or, okay, this king, <laughs> this king of wands is going to come in. Wait, before I say that. Give me this six of pentacles, please. Spirit. Oh, it's raining. It is raining. Yeah. They're coming in with an offer. It looks like they're going to come in. Mm. Okay. See, I knew I didn't trust it. Um, they're coming in with an offer. Prop, might, might even appeal to... I feel like this person is going to be mirroring you to try and get their way. They're going to come in acting like they want equal give and take and stuff. Why is this six of cups or this four of cups in reverse? I don't feel like that's supposed to be in reverse. We got the seven of swords. It like came out sideways. Can you... uh? This uh, four cups, please, spirit. It's something. Come on, spirit, talk to me. Talk to me. It is something about this six of cups, two of wands in reverse. It's not a real offer. Where's my other cards? Hold on. I feel like I need to uh, do that other day again now that I got the tarot out. Yeah, somebody might be wanting to work with you. The seven of swords, or the seven of wands came out again. Someone still got options. Eight of cups, three of swords. Somebody is still on that, um, the moon. It's something, something is hidden. Something, spirit don't want me to see something. It's something here that's, what is that? That didn't, okay, that was the Ten of Cups upright. So, it, see, you got people watching you on, uh, Five of Swords. Page of Swords. Somebody's thinking about what all they put invested in it into something or somebody. The death and the nine of wands again. Five of Cups. Something ain't right with this. Something is not right with this. The judgment. 
the world, the end of a cycle, five of cups, grief, heartbreak. Someone's still fighting. They're fighting with their burdens on their back. Well, don't make... How you fighting for one thing, but you still fucked up about something else that you went through? Like, I don't know. Tell me more. This Knight of Cups. What's this? This Seven of Wands keep wanting to come out, so I'm going to just put that bitch out. The same cards are coming out. Let me... I'm putting these small ones away. Somebody is watching you. I think somebody's trying to um, figure out where your head is. As far as whatever this is. <laughs> as far as whatever this is. Somebody is watching you. And I feel like they're watching you so that they can marry you. They're trying to strategize before they come. Trap house. Who the fuck at the trap house? You're ready. So whatever this is, you're ready. Time's up. This person might be, whoever this is, he's very handsome. Uh, the phone works both ways. Maybe somebody will be saying that to you. Somebody is with a prostitute. Somebody fucking with a prostitute. So we got, let me bust them guts in reverse. So that's, I said I had a feeling the uh, Ace of Wands was going to come out. If that Ace of Wands come out, you know what it is. Let me get in them butt, um, them gut, them butt sort of, somebody might be bisexual. Um, either that or somebody just freaky as hell. Yeah, that's, somebody just wants to come and fuck and I would not trust that. Whoever this is, don't don't sleep with this person. Their time is a. This is a mu musician, somebody who does music. I love you. That's too many cards. Somebody got a dirty cat. Karmic family and friends. A water sign. Someone got water in their chart. Someone is a mystic. The the mystic is the rising star. Uh, Chris Brown energy. I don't know if y'all have noticed Chris Brown's current state. He's looking real coquettish. He's acting real coquettish. Take that how you want to. So this person is on his Chris Brown right now. Yeah, somebody like really onto drugs and shit. Like, somebody can't cope. Someone's a liar. Baby daddy. Ooh. Oh, no. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. I don't want to take that many. Oh, Tiana Taylor. Uh, So, that energy. Y'all know how Tiana Taylor. She's. <laughs> Tiana Taylor is cool as fuck. <clears throat> she got swag. She's gorgeous. She got gorgeous kids. She's goofy as fuck. That's the best thing about her. That the, the girl is just straight up retarded. So, yeah, that's the energy of this person. That maybe this mystic, uh, whoever this Nine of Pentacles is, has the Tiana Taylor energy. A karmic male and a divine masculine. I feel like this karmic male is wearing a divine masculine mask. But masks slide off, you know, that should be lifting like, like people's laces. Overthinking. This is what's going to happen this weekend, y'all. So y'all might go out and network and somebody's going to try and bring y'all down because they see you fake love and Drake. Yeah, like, okay, so when I wrote that Drake card, baby mom came out again. 
great value. So somebody is a knockoff version of you. This baby mama is a knockoff version of whoever this person is. But when I wrote that Drake uh, card, the energy that I was think had my in mind was, I think it was an award ceremony. So this was a couple of years after Drake and Rihanna stopped fucking with each other. Um, I don't know if he was introducing her or presenting her with an award, but she came on stage and he went in trying to kiss her and shit. And she just played his ass in front of everybody. Like he really looks like a clown. So that's the energy that this, this, this Drake card, that's, that's what I had in mind when I wrote that. Somebody is a super freak. I think somebody got a lot of sex uh, obsessed. Somebody's obsessed. And somebody got a lot of sexual demons. A cheater. The earth sign. The earth sign is the cheater. The earth sign needs to mind their own fucking business. Okay, let's see. Community dick. Put a ring on it. It's watch your back in reverse. Fake, fake friends in reverse. And future in reverse. Future. Oh, okay. So, I feel like whatever they're doing, you no longer have to worry about them. That's why the watch your back is in reverse. You don't got to worry about these fake friends no more. That's why the it's in reverse. They're not coming through. Future in reverse. So, future, when I had this card, you're like, okay. So, future. People hate future. Future does what he does to women, but all his women know what the fuck he does. Like, they know about each other, and these women still continue to fuck with him, have babies by him. You don't ever see none of I've never heard about any of his baby mamas fighting each other. I mean, I could be wrong, but I've never heard that. I don't follow him, but I do see shit. Um, basically, Future is who the fuck he said he is out front and open. He don't hide who the fuck he is. He don't sneak and cheat behind. He, nah, nah, bitch, you ain't the only one. So what's up? You still want to fuck? So this is, future is in reverse. So you got some a fake ass future who you run around cheating, fucking a whole bunch of women, but you have to watch your step, watch what you do, and sneak like you're you're sneaking to do the shit that you do so you ain't the man because none of your bitches know about each other you're literally sneaking doing shit might go out of town do shit you might lie and say you're at work and you know just a liar like somebody you ain't the man oh somebody got stds too you're going to jail somebody is going to jail the stalker is going to jail and somebody is blessed no matter what the divine feminine is blessed so um yeah yikes let's get some angel messages and then wrap this up because what the fuck hey let me get some angel messages for my collective please spirit you know what i forgot to turn my music on i like to uh, have music playing while i'm channeling because that shit, I'm not doing this shit again. This has been 23 minutes already. 23.42 on the clock. Y'all might want to look that number up. Um, but I like to have music in the background because that should be just confirming that I'm on point with my readings. The next video I do, I'm going to do another video after this. I'm going to go get my water because I got a headache. I have a neck injury from a car accident and when I when my neck hurts, especially when it's raining, I notice when it rains, I be having to lay down with the heating pad on the back of my neck. Um, the next reading I do, I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the, the Earth Love reading next and uh, I'll have the music there so y'all can follow me over to the Earth sign. Reading after this, whenever it posts, you know, YouTube's been tripping. All my electronics have been tripping with me. Like, when when I'm home, the internet don't work. And my kids complain, oh, the game is lagging. But as soon as I leave, all the electronics in the house start working again. Like, my energy is off the chain right now. Um, I'm going through some ascensions right now. So, electronics ain't fucking with me right now. 
Spirit ain't having it. Okay. Angel messages. Within the next few months. Within so all of this might be going down within the next few months. It might not. It might be a serious. I feel like the glow up already happened because people are stalking. So obviously the glow up already happened. Um, this weekend, I feel like y'all are gonna go out, have fun, and network. Y'all might be going to some events related to whatever it is you're trying to. Uh, if I heard an entrepreneur. Okay, it says wait. What are we waiting for, angels? Uh, waiting for the situation to improve. It will improve. And there's something better. So whatever this is, just let it go. And a year from now, you're going to look back and you're going to be like, you might even be in a completely different tax bracket a year from now. Okay, big changes. Happy big changes and remain positive. Meditation brings answers. So that's your angel messages. I hope this reading resonated with you guys. It all kind of sounds the same and very repetitive. Because like I said, all the fucking readers are picking up on the same storylines right now. Everybody's going through the same shit. So, um, yeah, that's probably just confirmation that I am tapped the fuck in. But, um, somebody is fucking with a prostitute. Somebody got an STD from a prostitute, and I feel like they're going to try and come and bring that shit to you, whoever you are, divine feminine, divine masculine. Or divine masculine with a lot of whole, whole lot of divine feminine energies. Because I've been seeing that a lot, man. There are some fabulous ass men that I've been seeing that are, they're divine masculines that are just oozing with sexy as divine feminine energy. I've been seeing a couple of tarot readers like that too. I don't know. I've just been coming across bad bitches. Men that are bad bitches, for real. <laughs> It makes sense. Yeah, I know it makes sense. I know y'all know what I mean. I've been coming across that. Like, but anyway, yeah. So y'all just be careful because whoever this the fuck this is, their karmic is a prostitute. Their karmic is fucking their homies. They doing some nasty shit together. And I also feel like this karmic got some some shit like on this divine or this fake ass divine masculine <sighs> I don't know it ain't my business I'm just here to deliver the messages anyways I hope this reason reading resonated with you guys uh please like comment subscribe I am accepting personal readings I'm only gonna accept maybe 10 more personal readings and then I'm going to shut my personal readings down for a little bit because I need to a break. I'm, I'm, I'm working on my protection. I'm getting my protection all the way the fuck up. I, I got to block my energy from a lot of people. Because it's still a lot of people tapped in. Even though I did a fucking cord cutting. Uh, that's that's what that, I think that's what made it worse. They they know I did. Like they felt that shit. I did a cord cutting. I ain't even going to lie. I'm, I'm going to say it. I know they're watching. I did a cord cutting. That's why... I'm good and I don't feel nothing right now, but, um, yeah, I still feel people trying to draw on my energy, even though I'm emotionally cut off and that's crazy. But anyway, um, yeah, I just want to recharge before I get back into personal readings. My personal readings are off the chain. Like y'all think this, if, if this resonated with y'all. You really need a personal reading because my personal readings and the, it's so funny how the personal reading. So I don't you're the way I do my personal readings is um, you send me your question. I have my email. All my information is in the description. You send me your question. You send me what you need to know. I do not do face to face readings. I don't like to do over the phone readings because I'm I, like I, I record the video like I do now. I upload it to um YouTube on a private link and I email the, the private link to you. I'm sitting, as I'm sitting here reading the cards, I don't be knowing what the fuck I'm talking about. Half the time, I'm like, 
damn, I hope I'm not just saying some shit, like, just talking out my ass, because I'm like, what the fuck is this? I don't be knowing what the fuck I'm talking about. Even, like, on my readings, people be like, oh, your reading resonated with me, this and that. I don't know what the fuck I said in my readings. I don't, like, when I turn this off, I'm not going to remember anything that I said. I don't really go back and watch my readings unless something tells me to. But, yeah, when I'm channeling, I don't remember what the fuck I'm saying. I just know that I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. And I'm like, I really hope I'm not just talking at my ass right now. And then when they get the reading, they're like, oh, my God, how did you know that? You uh, Yes, you pick up on this person, that person. Like, I did a reading for my homegirl. Oh, let me tell you about that. Hey, boo, I know you watch it too, boo. Because she, look, she she be my bitch. She shows love. She supports me so good. But uh, I did a reading for her. And she already know. I, I can say this. I'm not going to say her name, even though I can say her name. I'm sure she wouldn't care. Because she's like, yes, girl. Okay, so um, I think back in February, I did a reading from her for her. And I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. I've known her for 10 years, but... We had like lost contact and we just recently started talking again when I started doing readings. And um, I was like, you married? Is this your husband? I didn't know you was married, girl. Who the fuck is this? I'm like, is this your ex-husband? You got an ex-husband? Yeah, the nigga uh, left you for somebody with some money. He with a bitch, a queen of pentacles. He is only, he, he ended up marrying somebody he married a, a a queen of pentacles for money and he hates the bitch and he wants to come back to you even though you know he ain't good for basically i picked up on three of her exes and i'm like don't worry about it um because you got a big daddy coming somebody with a big dick somebody that's gonna love you somebody with a good job like you got a big daddy coming like not even a month later she meets this dude now they're talking like he lives in um he lives somewhere else and he they he stay he do not like he got to be up under her all the time this nigga live in a whole another state and he makes sure every time he every day he has off he's back in Houston with up, up under her he's good with her kids her kids love him her kids love him so like i predicted this relationship that she has right now and she's so happy so excited like she's she i'm so happy for her i'm happy for her i'm like bitch don't forget i predicted him <laughs> so yes uh the readings get very detailed and it's weird because i like i said i don't be knowing what the fuck like i just talk it's coming out my mouth i don't know where it's coming well i know where it's coming from but it's just weird i'm still getting used to this because I didn't know I was psychic until a few months ago. Like I'm new to, I'm new to this hero community, and I'm picking up picking it up really fast. My I'm constantly going through ascensions. That's another reason why my energy gets depleted so easily, because I'm like rapidly ascending, and I'm rapidly going through shifts. I keep unlocking new levels in my gifts. It's like it's it's so weird. I'm a heavy weed smoker. I've been smoking weed forever. I don't dream. I've been dreaming. I've been spirit been telling on a lot of folks in my dreams. Like that's why I, I I'm chilling. I don't bother nobody and I keep to myself because spirit be snitching on y'all. Okay. But anyway, so yes, definitely check out my um check me out. Hit me up for a personal reading. Again, I'm probably only gonna accept 10 more clients for now. And then I'm going to shut down and then I'm going to start back again, maybe in a week or two. My birthday is next month at the beginning of the month. I'm going to cut that down because Lionsgate portal, I have very big plans for the Lionsgate portal. I was born on the Lionsgate portal peak. My date of birth has three eights in it. I see 888 all the time and I see 88 all the fucking time. So I'm being really led to, I'm, I'm going to be naked in somebody's woods on the 8th of August, okay? Because I have some heavy spiritual work to do and I'm being like, I'm knowing more and more and more that no, this is what I have to do. So um, definitely the beginning of August, I will not be taking personal readings. So hurry up and get in while you can. My cash app is in the description. I do take donations. Um, 
there's a few decks that I really want to get. I'm working on an Amazon uh, wish list. I just want to make sure that I did it right because I don't need my real name out there because my real name is very unique and it's very easy to find me. And I ain't got time for no crazy ass people like fucking with me. And yeah, because people are crazy. You got to be careful. You got to protect yourself at all times. Anyway, um, like, comment, subscribe. And let me know what you think.